Good day everyone! For this week, our topic is all about conditional statement. And the milks are determines the relationship between the hypothesis and the conclusion of if-then statement. Second, transform a statement into an equivalent if-then statement. Now, what is conditional statement? A conditional statement is also called an if-then statement. An if-then statement is composed of two clauses, the if clause and then clause. We can denote a letter for each clause, P for if clause, Q for then clause. The statement is in the form if P, then Q. In addition, conditional statements are formed by joining two statements, P and Q, using the words if and then. The P statement is called hypothesis and the Q statement is called the conclusion. Now let's take an example on how to write simple sentence into conditional statement. So first, a rectangle has two pairs of parallel sides. So the conditional statement, if the figure is a rectangle, then it has two pairs of parallel sides. So nagkaroon na tayo dito ng if then statement. So the hypothesis, the figure is a rectangle. So the hypothesis here is the first or if part of the conditional statement. And the conclusion, it has two pairs of parallel sides. So the conclusion is the second or then part of a conditional statement. And always remember that the conclusion is the result of a hypothesis. Second, Filipinos are God-fearing people. The conditional statement, if you are Filipino, then you are God-fearing people. The hypothesis, you are Filipino. The conclusion, you are God-fearing people. Third example, the number is prime, it has only two factors. So the conditional statement, if the number is prime, then it has only two factors. The hypothesis, the number is prime. And for the conclusion, it has only two factors. Now your turn. One half of a number is 12. The number is 24. So what is the conditional statement, hypothesis, and conclusion? Alright, the conditional statement, if one half of a number is 12, then the number is 24. So, meron na tayo if then statement here. Now, how about the hypothesis? One half of a number is 12. So, this is the if part of a conditional statement. The conclusion, the number is 24. So, this is the then part of a conditional statement. Very good. Next statement. Wearing mask is life saving. So, what is the conditional statement, hypothesis, and conclusion? Alright, the conditional statement, if you wear mask, then your life will be saved. The hypothesis, you wear mask. The conclusion, your life will be saved. Next, Venn diagram. Venn diagram can be used to illustrate conditional statement. Things that satisfies the hypothesis must be inside the things that satisfies the conclusion. Example number one. So if we look at the diagram for conditional statements, all right, we can see that we have here two circles, one within another. Always remember that the hypothesis is always going to be inside the conclusion. So right here in this circle, this is the hypothesis, the yellow part, and the green part is the conclusion. So the hypothesis here is the integers, the conclusion is the real numbers. Alright? Next example, if you are a Filipino, then you are an Asian. So the hypothesis is you are a Filipino. 
the conclusion, you are an Asian. Next, write the condition statement for the Venn diagram. So now I have here a Venn diagram. Pero kailangan alam niyo na natin na sa mga hypothesis and the conclusion. So re remember, again, the hypothesis is always going to be inside the conclusion. So ang ating hypothesis is Rizal and the conclusion is Calabarza. So for the conditional statement, if you are reside in Rizal, then you are from Calabarza. Now, your turn. Write the conditional statement for the Venn diagram. Okay, so in this given Venn diagram, ang ating hypothesis ay may lunggay, and then for the conclusion, vegetable. So, the conditional statement, if you eat malunggay, then you eat vegetable. So that's all for today. Thank you so much, Grade 8 student. Thank you for listening and have a good day.